Well, how you doing? Hal here. Today, we're going to talk about Curtis Steiger's This Life. It's from the Sons of Anarchy. It's their theme song, and that's a TV show for anybody who may not know. So, I'm going to play it for you. And for those of you who want to see this part of the video, there's another video. Just click on the, uh, the box right there, and uh, you can go to that video and listen to it. And then I'm going to continue on teaching you exactly how to play this song in just a moment. So here we go. You ready? You really need to listen to this song. And uh, you could listen to my song, of course, the, the recording that I did. And then you'll know exactly how I'm playing it. Curtis Steigers puts a, a capo on the fourth fret and plays these same chords. But I took the capo off because I didn't want to sing as high as he did. So it's a little lower. Fits my voice better. Hopefully it'll fit yours better. Now if you need to have it higher, just put the capo up farther, either up to where Chris Steigers had it, Curtis Steigers had it, or second fret, or fifth fret, or sixth fret, anywhere you want to, just so it feels good in your voice. If you don't like the way it feels in regular tuning, drop it down a half step, a little bit lower. That works too. We're in drop D tuning, D, A, D, G, B, E, and this is a D5 chord. That's the introduction. So I'm doing, I'm doing, a, and then I'm doing this little bass run. And what I do is I put my finger, my second finger, right here on the A string, pull, pull my first finger, open, and then bring my second finger up here to the E string, bend it just a little bit, and then pull, and uh, I'm pulling the E string and the A string simultaneously, so we get both of those strings ringing. section right there, the crow flies straight. You've got this D5 chord. You can play all five of these strings. One, two, three, four, five. And that works really well. And then when we do this C9 chord, okay, we got a... Well, I'm not playing this E string, so I'm playing the four inside strings. Open. And then the third fret right there. That's my uh, C9 chord. The drum that I'm using is like this. Oops, sorry. So we actually do that C9 chord on an upstroke. part that starts with this life is short. I have a C9 chord right here. Little finger, ring finger, right there on the D string and the uh, third fret on the A string. C9 chord. This life is short. Maybe that's a fact. Okay, then we move this finger down. Better live it right. D5. You ain't coming back. Do the same thing, C9. Gotta raise some hell before they put you down. Gotta live this life. Going to a G chord. At the lead, what, what I was doing was a D5, that four times, and 
then uh, I did the C9 chord, just like in uh, that middle section that says, This life is short, and that's a fact. Better live it right, cause you ain't coming back. So the lead guitar is over the top of this. <laughs> 